Hello, everyone, and welcome to another Motorcycling Australia Women in Motorcycling interview. I'm Gemma Wilson, and we have our first ever junior interviewee, Maddie Simpson, with us. Hello, Maddie. How are you? I'm good, thank you. That's good. So we have gone through a lot of interviews already, and as I just said, first junior interviewee, which is pretty exciting. So it's going to be interesting when we get to question six and ask you about what you would write to your 16-year-old self, because you haven't got there yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, but let's just start with a little bit of an introduction. Tell us who you are, where you're from, and how long you've been riding for. Um, I'm Maddie Simpson. I'm 13 years old from the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, and I've been riding since I was four. And what kind of stuff are you doing at the moment? So what racing, what, what discipline, um, and what events have you been riding in or would you be riding in if COVID hadn't ruined this year? Um, I've pretty much been doing a bit of everything this year, a bit of motocross, a bit of um, enduro, but uh, uh, what, what am I running in? Uh, obviously the AORC, um, the QORC, and pretty much just like whatever motocross races are on around me. Okay, fantastic. So, and you began your career in motocross, that's right, hey? Yeah, I did. Yep. So the change to enduro, is that quite new? Uh, yeah, I only started racing enduro uh, halfway through last year. Mm -hmm. And how's it been going? Um, pretty good, actually. Been getting some pretty good results. What made you change or what made you have a go at enduro? Um, just like one of my friends that does both, like, no, no, I just got a bit of like inspiration off them to try something new and just loved it ever since then. Okay, cool. That was my next question. So you had a go at enduro and you love it. So you're, stick, you're sticking with it. Do you, do you have a favourite between motocross and enduro? Um, not yet. No, I don't. It's kind of just a bit of fun doing both at the moment. Okay. Um, and you had a big change this year as well. So you got onto a team. Can you tell us a little bit about the team? Uh, yeah, I only found about found out about that uh, at the end of last year. Um, didn't really get into it until February when the team was announced and we kind of just do whatever events we want, just promote the team and, yeah. Okay, and what team is it? Uh, the Todd Waters B um, Ben Chadell Motor X Husqvarna team. Fantastic. And so who else is on the team? Is it a big one? Uh, yeah, it's pretty big. It's myself, um, Blake Hadley, Casey Wilmington, and Leah Mullins. Okay, and so you're the only girl on the team? Yes. Yeah. And are those guys motocross or enduro background? They are motocross. Okay, so you and Todd are the only ones doing enduro? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so can you tell me a little bit about your career so far? So what, um, what, have, you, what have you won over the last multiple years of racing? Um, I have won uh, what's been five Queensland championships, I believe, for motocross. And before COVID, I was running third overall in the girls class, in the JD class at um, AORC. Okay, so it's um, quite competitive. The girls' class in the AORC is very new, um, but crazy fast girls, hey? Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. I knew that there would be some competition, but I didn't expect them to be as good as they were. It's, uh, it's very cool, um, to, yeah, to see the, this new class and then, yeah, you girls be just battling it out. Um, so who, who else? Who was, who was beating you in the AORC before COVID ruined um, everything? There was Taylor Thompson and Danielle McDonald, and there was another girl, but I just can't remember her name. Okay. And how many rounds of the AORCs did you guys manage to get in this year? Only one. It was Nara, which was cancelled, and then that was moved on to Golden Beach in Victoria. Mm -hmm. So a huge big drive down to Golden Beach. Yeah, very yeah. long. <laughs> Um, so moving forward with your career, what are your goals? What, what would you like to achieve in motorcycling? Um, probably to go to Europe. That's a big goal that I want to, like, that's, a, that I've set for myself and hopefully I can achieve. 
Yeah, and are you thinking for motocross or enduro or see how it all falls? Um, yeah, just see how it, like, pans out. I'm not sure what I want to do yet, but I, oh, I'd like the chance to be able to do both. That would be really cool, but I don't know yet. Okay, well, there's lots of opportunities for you um, these days in, to head overseas, and there's girls that have done it before you, so you aren't the first girl to do it which makes it a lot easier so is there anyone that you think that you might be able to reach out to and get some pointers and stuff um, like yeah, anyone prob sorry probably I mean you'd probably be a big one yeah and, or maybe Taylor Jones mm -hmm. and um Emma Melissevic has gone over and done some Europe stuff. Like Megan Rutledge has gone over and done some Europe stuff. Um, obviously, Taylor's in America. So there's, yeah, definitely people you can reach out to, which is really cool because it's always hard to do it do it the first time. But there's paths to follow now. Um, something else that I wanted to touch on is that you're someone, I know that you've done a lot of coaching with a lot of different people over the years. So can you tell us about, about, co about coaching and what you've got from it? Um, I've pretty much got everything from my coaching. Um, I started off as this little girl on a peewee that didn't know what to do. Um, but through the years, I've just gone through a lot of coaches, like learning about what each person like gives you and they all kind of give you the same stuff, but they teach in a different way. Mm -hmm. Um, so far, I think the best person has definitely been Ben. He's improved me the most over the past couple of years. Yeah, fantastic. I think it's something that doesn't happen enough in our sport. So, yeah, get all the coaching you can get, hey? Yeah. Yeah. And and huge changes. Um, so, like you said, so Ben's someone who's made you go faster over the last couple of years. But, yeah, you just learn so much from so many different coaches. We met for the first time at a coaching event when you were very, very, very little. <laughs> And you crashed yeah. huge in front of me and bent your back and got up and kept going. Um, so you've always been tough. <laughs> oh, I have I have one last question before I want to get into those seven that we ask um, all girls on the show. But so it is, do you have like a favourite race or event or, or memory from racing that you'd like to tell us about? Um, definitely being able to go race in Victoria. That was so cool. Just being able to like, travel and like compete in somewhere that I've never been before and like ended up on the podium which is really cool yeah fantastic and that's uh good that you enjoyed that travel because yeah heading over to Europe lots of travel lots of new things to to see and do and people to meet so that bodes well <laughs> so our first question is what was the driving force behind you becoming involved in the sport um, definitely my dad. I grew up with my dad racing and he bought me a bike and kind of just took off from there. I just loved it ever since. Okay, cool. So dad got you into it. And yeah. what kind of challenges do you face as a female in, in the industry and how do you overcome them? Um, definitely not getting as much recognition. Like um, I was very like happy to be able to get on the team that I'm on currently because it was very hard for me to get like any sponsors or anything like that because um, I'm a girl obviously but um, <laughs> yeah since I've been on the team it's kind of been a bit better like getting like more people like on my social media is more people like following me and noticing like that girls can go fast on motorbikes too. <laughs> Yeah, fantastic. So you do notice you notice the difference being a 13-year-old girl in the industry rather than a 13-year-old boy? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, what's the greatest gift that motorcycling has given you so far? Definitely the friendships I've made. Um, I've become very close with a lot of people in the community and it's, like, it's really good because I can go to them like whenever I need. Yeah, fantastic. Um, what do you love most about our sport? I'd say the community. It's like they're so nice and like easy to talk to because somehow I relate to them in a lot of ways. Yeah, do you think it's that, that mutual thing in common? Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, fantastic. Um, 
So obviously you're 13, so you've still got some life skills to learn, but what life skills have you developed so far as a result of motorcycling? Um, probably being able to look after myself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and like camping, like you have to like look after yourself and look out for like what's around you and yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so this is the, if you could write a letter to your 16 year old self, what message would you give? And I'm thinking that maybe yours is go still going to be to your 16 year old self, but it's going to be in the future. So yours is a future letter, not a past letter. Yeah, um, probably just like keep pushing yourself, keep, keep trying. Like, I know it gets hard and like, and like, you might want to give up. But I don't, I wouldn't know that yet, but I'd hope not. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so keep putting in the work and see where it takes you. Yeah. Yeah, because you can't regret that, hey? <laughs> All right, and um, our last of our seven questions, what is the most popular question you get asked about motorcycling? Um, definitely if I can do a backflip. <laughs> um, but apart, apart from that, it would be if, like, if it's hard racing against the boys, like, do I have a lot of competition and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. What's it like actually at, at school, being a 13 year old girl who rides motorcycles? So when you show up school on a Monday morning and everyone's talking about their weekends, how does it go for you? Um, I don't know, they don't really ask me anymore. Like they used to ask me a lot of the time, because I'd normally have like the Friday off to go somewhere and I would never tell anyone, but then they'd ask where I was and yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, do you find it difficult sometimes to just be friends with like people at school because you have this different thing that you're doing on the weekends to everyone else? Um, not really. It's just, I just never really get invited to anything, but that's okay. Cause I'm doing better stuff anyways. <laughs> Yeah, I always say that I missed everybody's 16th, 18th, 21st, then their engagement parties and then their weddings. So when my husband and I finally got married, I expected everyone to just boycott our wedding because I never went to any of theirs. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I was off doing more fun things, so it's okay to miss out on some parties. <laughs> um, is there anything else that you would like to, to have a chat about? Not really. No, so if you think about who might be watching this, um, so if there were other, you know, even younger than you, junior girls that were kind of interested in motorcycling, could you give them any tips or anything you'd like to say? Oh, uh, probably just keep pushing yourself and keep trying as hard as you can to get where you know you can get. Yeah, fantastic. And is there anyone that you would like to thank? So as you said, like you're on the Todd Waters team and you've got some more support and obviously it's the hardest thing for all girls in motorcycling is to get the recognition that, that we deserve for the effort that we put in. Um, so, yeah, is there anyone that you'd like to thank that has been giving you the recognition? Um, everyone, really, like all my friends or like my parents, uh, obviously my sponsors. And just everyone has believed in me, really. Yeah, cool. Um, and you do have a lot of believers in you, Maddie, and followers. Um, and you come along as an ambassador, a junior ambassador at my Gemma Wilson events, which is fantastic so that junior girls can see how fast junior girls can go. Um, we've got one in two weekends, um, the Fox Women's Ride Day. So I'll see you there and you can show off your mad skills to all the girls. Yeah, sounds pretty good. Actually, is there a Queensland um, off-road championship this coming weekend as well? Yes, could be damn. Okay, are you looking forward to that? Yeah, last time I rode there, though, I didn't end up too good, crashed into a tree and broke my handlebars off. Oh, I know. All right, so stay upright, um, no hitting trees, um, and have a really, really good race. And, yeah, see you in a couple of weeks. Yep, sounds good. Thank you. All right, thanks, Maddie.